It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And how about some history? We've got two of the league's founding members. It's the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals. All that and more coming up we're Next. in the Valley of the Sun, few places in the country as picturesque as the desert southwest. And we've got a good one on tap here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as here we the Chicago Bears taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Throwing to start the drive, Williams. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Two yards to go, second down. Looking to throw, Williams. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. But that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, 
He doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Williams now looking to throw on second down. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to the running game with Swift. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. first here tonight right off the bat they start with a very solid methodical 10 play drive and you know me I tend to look at things from the defensive side they're coming off the field gassed right away we're in the first drive of the game so it's not just what happened but think of the emotion you carry into a game then double it with getting a 10 play drive put on you and points scored they're pretty tired right now Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual-threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together, we've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top-notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week, and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First carry for James Conner. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Right back to Connor here on first. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. No sweat for Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. 
Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Here's Murray. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Now an option play on second down. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now Williams from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. The Bears on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll be taken down at the 18. 
It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Now a third and six. Throwing now is Murray. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Murray now on first down. Going to look deep for Wilson. That is incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Murray now. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down is Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now Murray again. And his throw is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. To throw, it's Murray. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First down, Murray. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Murray again, second and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Benson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Open man here is Benson. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Nine-yard line, second and six. 
From the gun, Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Murray now to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Traders kick is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just gotta take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached intermission here in a low scoring game. 7 3 is our score. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was gonna be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 38 now, here's second and two. Now Murray. Goes right back to McBride. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. 
Now Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Going right back to Wilson. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Murray going to throw. He's got McBride here over the middle. Seven yards there at a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Quick hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw is Murray. Over the middle here to Wilson. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Murray to air it out again. That's complete right around the eight. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he fights his way in, not giving up. But it's a Cardinal touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Crater for the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven yard run. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 
defensively they were in the three four solid run up the middle what made it successful well what you have to do is control the nose guard but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him you do it by influencing him get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite runs through the contact and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 62 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And third and eight now. Safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, but any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first and ten, here's Murray. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Able to get this one to McBride. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Murray to throw on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. On first and ten is Connor. Shoves him aside. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. There's a throw to the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. 
Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Off the option, here's Murray running left. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Offense. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the Still tight end. Good. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Murray a give. This is counter. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Up the middle they go. Benson. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. They'll run again. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Here comes Pettis on the return. And the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. All right, zero rooting interest in it, but that one hurt. Well, yeah, you're losing in the fourth quarter. A bad time for a fumble on a punt return. They had an opportunity. All right, they were sensing. They're down on the scoreboard, and now they just gave that one up. And they take a knee. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. They'll try the left side with Connor. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Down to an egos Murray, as that will just about wrap this thing up. Obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that part, man. It's such a low-scoring game. It completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys.